In this lesson, we're going to use the program that you just finished. Hopefully everyone got it to work. And we're going to make this section of code into a module that makes it easier to use. So we're going to bring it down just a little bit, come up front, and we're going to say that the name of this section of code is called initialize. The name has to have a colon at the end. Then we're going to take all of this section here and indent it. We can do that by highlighting it and then pressing F8. And it will move all that code over one dot, two dots, three dots, for example. And then we're going to come back down. And at the end of this module, we're going to put return. Now this creates a section of code that has a name. It's called a subroutine or a module. When we write a main program, starting here at the top, we can give it a name too if we wish, if we named it main, but it would end with an end statement. So this section of code right here runs, but we can have it call or execute the section named initialize. We do that with the go sub statement. We can say go sub initialize. Notice now that it did produce it exactly like we expect. Once we've initialized this module, let's create a robot in the middle of it. All the robot commands in robot basic start with R. So we have R. And in this case, we want to locate the robot. And we're going to locate it at a position 350 across, that's the X coordinate, and 250 down, the Y coordinate. Notice if we do this, the robot has appeared right here in the center of the screen. What we want to do is we want to write a program to make the robot move over to the right and then perhaps up to the top and then over. We want to move it over to this area of the screen. Let's pull it over here a little ways. We've got more area there to see it. Now to do that, we could write the code to make it do it right, right here. Or we could create another module if we wanted. For instance, we could have a go sub move robot to make the robot move where we wanted to do it. In this case, we would have to have a new module, move robot, ending in a colon, of course, with return. Now our new code will go in here. Let's look first at what we want the robot to do. We need the robot to turn and then move to its right. Let's turn the robot a little and move it. If we, for example, if we tell the robot to R turn 45 degrees and R forward 100, let's watch the robot move. Now it's moving a little fast. Sometimes we want that to happen, but we may also want to slow it down. So let's do our speed, and we can put in a delay here. Let's put in a delay of 10, for example, and see if that's enough. Notice the robot moves much slower, and you can see where it's going. Now it's getting pretty close to this object here. If it hits that object, it'll cause an error. Let's turn it just a little bit less, let's say 35 degrees, And run the program again. Notice the robot has collided with an obstacle. So we have to fix it because the robot has bumped into some object in the room. One of the ways to fix it is to move this back to 35, 40, from 35 to 45, or we may even want to move it a little more, like 55. Now, we might want the robot to move just a little bit further and then turn left. 
Let's move it a little further first. So maybe 130. Let's check and see how that looks. Not bad. Now we can turn it left almost 90 degrees, maybe 80 degrees. Let's try it. Our turn. We want to go 80 degrees to the left, so that would be minus 80. Positive numbers, turn it to the right. And then move it forward again. Let's start with 100 and see how that works. Notice the robot's getting through the maze. We like to get it eventually over here. So that's your next programming assignment. Use this program and modify it and get the robot all the way out of this maze of objects in this room. Now in this case we've just got a circle and a line and a rectangle. But these could represent chairs or sofas or whatever else might be in a room. But remember, your assignment is to use this program and add to it to create the pieces that you need. In fact, if we take out these extra lines, which we don't really need, perhaps I can get all this to fit on one screen. Perfect. Now you can type in this program, modify it to add some extra sections to the move robot subroutine and make your robot get all the way out of its system over to the right hand side of the screen. Just pause this video so you can type this program into your computer.